I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at question 3a part 3 for the 2017 exam for level 2 probability. So here is our question. So this is now talking about female salmon rather than male salmon. And we're told that they've got a weight that's approximately normally distributed with a mean of 3,975 grams. Okay, so I'm going to put that on my diagram first of all. So I've got my little normal distribution and I'm going to add that mean of 3,975. Okay, now the question talks about if 40% of them exceed 4,000 grams, then what would be the standard deviation? Okay, so we need to find the standard deviation. So we don't know what that standard deviation is, that's what we need to find. So let's put this other information here. So 40% exceed 4,000 grams. So think first of all in terms of your axis there. Remember 0 is down here somewhere. And the numbers are getting bigger. So a mean is 3,975. So that tells us 4,000 is going to be somewhere above that. So I'm just going to draw a line there. And that's going to be at oh, the value of 4,000. And it says a 40% exceed. So exceed is a word that means above 4,000. So I'm going to shade in the area above that. And that area is 40%. Okay, so before I can go and actually find any more information, I need to just do some reasoning. So if 40% is above, then that means, remember, from the mean, ab mean above, this area in here must be... 10% because everything above it must be at up to 50% so that piece there must be 10% okay so there's two methods I can use to solve this I can either use the graphics calculator or I can use the probability tables so let's show you both and we'll start by doing the graphics calculator so let's go into our statistics mode again so press that execute and again I want my distribution so F5, then I want my normal distribution, so F1, and in this case I'm actually going to go for my inverse normal, so F3. So when I look at the diagram that I've drawn, we've shaded in from 4000 grams and above, and that, that area is 40%. So I'm going to take the tail area is on my right, so I'm going to change that and press F2, change that to right. The area that's shaded in is 0 0.4 and for my standard normal distribution that has a standard deviation of 1 and a mean of 0. So I'm going to now solve that and this x value, it's not actually x I found, it's my z value and the z value is 0 0.2533471. Now let's have a look at how we do this using our standard normal distribution. So in this one, remember, we've got our value at 4,000. And we were shading in the area above that. And we know that that area above is 40%. And we also reasoned that this piece in here, between the mean and 4,000, that that area there must be 10%. And the reason that I want to do that is because that now matches this picture that I've got on my normal distribution that this area I'm just shading in green matches up. Okay, so that area is 10%. As a decimal, 0.1. So let's, in our probability, so that's these values inside, we want to look for that value of 0.1. So I'm going to start by coming down. Oh, sorry. I'm going to start by coming down here. And I can see, as I look down those numbers, here it goes from 0 0.7 to 1.11 so I'm going to go back to that row and I'm going to start looking along oh, not that row oh, let's do that one again let's look along this row here okay so that's 0 0.2 so I'm going to look along there and I can see that I get this value here of 0 0.098 0 0.0987 so that's the closest I can get to 
one, so 0 0.0987. How much would I need to add to that to get a value of exactly 0 0.11000? So I would add to add another 13, 13 plus 87, that's going to add up. So if I look at the differences, the closest I can get to that is the 12. So now I can compile all that information together and say write my z value, 0 0.2 is the first decimal place. The second decimal place is this value of 5. And the third decimal place is the value of 3. So what we've just found is on our z distribution, we've found that this area there being 10%, same as above, that will have a z value of 0 0.253. And that's for my with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so now that I've got my z values, now I can actually do some more calculations because remember the problem was to find the standard deviation. So let's write down what we know. We know we've got a mean of three thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. We know we've got the equivalent z value of zero point two five three, and that's equivalent to the x value of four thousand. And at 4,000, we know there's 40% above. Okay, so the only formula that we've got that we can use is this one. Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So what we can do is we've actually got three of the values we can substitute into this equation. So instead of Z, I'm going to put 0 0.253. For X, I've got the value of 4,000. The mean is... 3,975 and that's dividing by the standard deviation that I don't know. So now I need to rearrange this equation. So the first thing I'm going to think is I've got to divide it by the standard deviation. The opposite of dividing is times. So let me take that to the other side. So 0 0.253 times my standard deviation equals 4,000 minus 3,975. Let me just simplify that. 4,000 minus 3,975, that's going to give us a value of 25. Okay, now I, what I want to do is I want to get my standard deviation by itself. Okay, so that means the opposite of multiplying by 0.253 is to divide. So I'm going to get my standard deviation equals 25 divided by 0 0.253 put that into my lovely calculator and that will give me a value of 98.8 grams and there we have my answer. Let's look at how we allocated marks. So if we get the correct Z value then that would get us through to achieved. Okay so if we were able to find the Z value from the graphics, the ca graphics calculator or the table that will get us through to our U. If we are able to get this expression set up, okay, don't worry about the brackets, the brackets is if you've got the full number from the graphics calculator. Um, so if we were able to get to this step here, then that gets you your merit, your R. And if we get to the correct answer with working, so if we then get to this answer here, then that would give us 1T. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to visit my website or subscribe using the link below. Um, or there's a um, video playlist of more videos in this exam.